Hi. Now, in the previous part of the question, part A, we were given the curve C has this equation here and asked to find dy by dx, which we did. dy dx was equal to 6 times all of 3 minus xy all over 16y squared plus 3x squared. Now, in part B, we've got to find the coordinates of the points on C where dy by dx equals 0. So, you might like to pause the video if you haven't given this a go, come back when ready, and I'll run through the work solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's just see how we would approach this. Well, first of all, then, let's just say when dy by dx equals 0. When dy by dx equals 0, it must mean that the numerator here must equal 0. OK, because 0 divided by anything is going to give us 0. So that means that therefore 6 multiplied by 3 minus xy has got to equal 0. You might have this in expanded form, 18 minus 6xy equals 0. Obviously it doesn't matter. OK, so if you factorise it, then it just means that this factor here must be equivalent to 0. 6 obviously can't be 0, so 3 minus xy must equal 0. So therefore, 3 minus xy equals 0. And if we rearrange this, say add xy to both sides, you've got xy equals 3. And now we can make either x or y the subject from here. Again, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose to make x the subject. x equals 3 over y. Obviously, if you made y the subject, it's going to be 3 over x. But what I'm going to do now is we'll call this equation, equation 1. And I'm going to sub this equation, wherever we see an x, into this one up here, OK? So let's just say sub this into, we'll call this A, OK? Equation A. So we'll say sub 1 into A. Now obviously you might have had y equals say 3 over x and you do exactly the same substitute for your y as 3 over x. So I'm going with x equals 3 over y. What does it lead to? Well, it's going to give us 16. We'll have, therefore, 16 y cubed plus, and we've got 9 times x squared, so 9 times x squared. If I square this for x, it's going to be 3 squared, which is 9, over y squared. So we've got 9 times 9 over y squared. And that's multiplied by this other y here. And then we've got minus 54x, so minus 54, multiplied by x, so that's going to be 3 over y. OK, if we make that substitution, and we're told this will equal 0. OK, so we've got that. Let's just border this off. OK, we'll come down this next column here. So if we clean this up. We've got our first term, we therefore have got 16y cubed. And then for this one here, we've got 9 times 9, which is 81. And we've got this y will cancel into the y squared, leaving us with a y in the denominator here. So we've got plus 81 over y. And then for this term here, minus 54 times 3, that gives us 162 over y. So we've got minus 162 over y, and that equals 0. So we've got these two terms, which are exactly the same. So we can group those together. OK, so we therefore have 16y cubed. Now, 81 over y minus 162 over y leaves us with minus 81 over y and that equals 0. Best thing what I think we could do here is to get rid of this y here. So I'm going to multiply throughout 
the equation by y. So we get 16y cubed times another y is going to be 16y to the power 4 times this term by y and we're just left with minus 81 and we times the 0 by y, well that's still going to be 0. Now I'm going to add 81 to both sides and also divide by 16. So you'll be left with y to the 4 equals 81 then divided by 16. So to get y I just need to take the fourth root okay, of 81 over 16. Now be careful here because this is an even powered root. So when you have even powered roots you will get plus or minus. Okay, so if we take the fourth root of 81 over 16, you can do this in your head because you just got to take the fourth root of 81 and divide it by the fourth root of 16. Fourth root of 81 is a 3 and the fourth root of 16 is 2. So you've got y equals plus or minus 3 over 2. Okay, so if we just come down through here, so we need to get the corresponding x coordinates. So all we need to do is substitute y equals plus or minus 3 over 2 back into 1. Okay, so we can say that from 1, okay, when y equals, say, 3 over 2, what does x equal? Well, x equals 3 divided by 3 over 2, 3 over 2 being 1 and a half, 3 divided by 1 and a half goes in twice, so x is going to be equal to 2. And similarly, when y equals minus 3 over 2, if we substitute this back into equation 1, we're just going to get x equals minus 2. So therefore, it asks us for the coordinates of the points on C where dy by dx equals 0, so we can come back and say therefore the coordinates Okay, uh, and we just need to pair them up now, given the x coordinate obviously first, so it's going to be 2, comma, 3 over 2, and for the other one it's going to be minus 2 and minus 3 over 2. And there you have it. Okay.